Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Well, born into slavery, he was the first black graduate of West Point, served with distinction and unfairly court-martialed. The story of Lieutenant Henry Flipper has been told in several history books. But Galen Culver has the story of what might be his most significant visible legacy at Fort Sill. Drop it and pick it up. Officers or enlisted Army golfers hitting left, right, left at Fort Sill's course have an interesting hazard come into play on the 15th par 3. It's a ditch that drains a low spot on the base and that digs into its history as well. Actually, the stone you see is a later addition. Museum director Frank Siltman is a retired colonel himself and a former history teacher at West Point who is familiar with this drainage canal still in use and the young lieutenant who was charged with digging it. You know, Flipper uh, is born in Georgia in slavery and uh, is appointed to West Point in 1873. Not the first black cadet appointed, but uh, he is the first graduate. His name was Henry Ossian Flipper. So in 1877, Flipper shows up. He arrived at Fort Sill to direct the 10th Black Cavalry, but he was trained as an engineer. Using some of the same black regiments that constructed these original buildings, Lieutenant Flipper dug this long ditch that drained the swamp downstream to Medicine Creek. This was a breeding ground for mosquitoes and malaria. Flipper went on to military escort duties, even cattle inspecting for the Army. One of the comments that he supposedly made as he left Fort Sill was that, you know, some of the fondest memories that he had was of his time at Fort Sill. Flipper's later service in the Army was marred by a court-martial and discharge. His name cleared finally much later, like the swamp he drained so early on, and still doing its job nearly 150 years later. I mean, that's the treasure, that's Fort Sill. You look at these 152-year-old buildings that were built by hand by those Buffalo soldiers, and it's the same thing with this ditch. It still is carrying water. It absolutely, yes. Flipper's Ditch is actually a national historic landmark today, carrying excess rainwater and a lot of history along its path. At Fort Sill, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? What a legacy is left behind. And Lieutenant Flipper served at Fort Sill from 1877 to 1879. And while at Fort Sill, he also surveyed a road from the fort to Gainesville, Texas, and laid out a telegraph line to Fort Supply.